Hello, handsome. It's T Shot Baseball Card Theater. Tonight, Wilbur Wood, This Is Your Life, slash the de evolution of the White Sox uniform. Wilbur Wood started out with the Red Sox, but the first card I have is a pirate. At the time, he wasn't a full time knuckleball guy, but he got traded to the White Sox, and Hoyt Wilhelm, another big knuckleballer, told him to stick with it, and he did. The pose on the 68 card is so nice. They used it twice. Here's 69. The uniform is still like a dark blue and white. It looks super cool. 1970, they go to a light blue, and then the uniforms are like powder blue. Ooh, not a good move. In 71, Wilbur Wood made his first all-star team. Uniform's still the same. 72, here's kind of a gray uniform. Very nice. He's an all-star again this year, and he leads the American League in victories with 24. In 73, he repeats his record, 24 wins, leads the American League again, and now the uniform has turned red. The White Sox are red. I think there's already a team named the Red Sox. In 74, Wilbur Wood's an all-star, but that uniform is not all-star. It's not even white. There's no white in it. You're the White Sox. In 76, we're back to the red uniform. Those pinstripes look wider. I think you put on some LBs. Hey, it happens when you get older. Okay, now we go to 78. He's got the red jacket underneath. We're still holding on to that. He looks like a bellhop at a crappy Florida motel in the panhandle. Type of city that has a coast, but there's no beach. That's a brutal uniform. Finally, in 78, it got worse. Looks like a softball uniform. If they made the longest yard about baseball, this would be the uniform of the guards. Horrible uniform. That was it for Wilbur Wood. But luckily, he retired and was able to avoid this uniform. Ooh. Okay, that's all for now. Wilbur Wood slash de-evolution. I'm T-Shawn, Baseball Card Theater.